everyone, I am Ms. Vibhishna Sharma, associated with Himali Boarding School and today we will be starting off with a new chapter, a new topic, the nervous system in humans. Now, the nervous system, now, uh, we have already discussed about animal tissues in class 7. We did the nervous tissue. So, the nervous tissue is a part of the nervous system. Neurons are the special cells that form nervous system. So, neurons are called the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. So neurons are specialized cells that are defined in the nervous system. They are the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. So let's discuss about the structure of a neuron. The neuron consists of a cell body which is called the perikaryon. The perikaryon consists of cytoplasm and a centrally located nucleus. Arising from this perikaryon are short thread-like protoplasmic projections. Short thread-like protoplasmic projections which are called dendrons. The dendrons are branched into smaller thread-like protoplasmic projections called dendrites. Now one of the protoplasmic projections is very long. It is called axon. This axon is covered by myelin sheath. Now, if you see, there are gaps also in between the myelin sheath. So if there's a gap between the myelin sheath, we call it nodes of Randia. The axon, they end in bulb-like structures called axon endings. Now these bulb-like structures they contain a chemical known as neurotransmitter. They help in transmitting impulse from one neuron to another. So, the neuron consists of a cell body called perikaryon. It consists of cytoplasm and a centrally located nucleus. Then, arising from the cell body are short thread-like protoplasmic projections called dendrons. Dendrons are branched into dendrites. One of the protoplasmic projections is very long. It is called axon. Axon is covered by sheets called myelin sheath. If there is a gap between the myelin sheath, it is called nodes of Ranvier. And the axon ends in bulb-like structures called axon endings, which are filled by chemicals called neurotransmitter. Now, what does the dendrons do? Now, dendrons, they collect information from other neurons. So, dendrons or dendrites, they collect information from other neurons. Axons, they carry impulse from one neuron to another. Understood this? Now, Neurons are not attached 
attached to each other. So suppose this is one neuron, then there is a small gap and then only there is the other neuron. Similarly, small gap and then the other neuron. Now these gaps are called synapse. Synapse is the junction or the gap between two neurons. It is here from where impulse is transmitted from one neuron to another through the neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters are present in the axon endings. So they help in transmitting information or impulse from one neuron to another. And who collects it? The dendrites or the dendrons. So the gap between two neurons is called a synapse. Now, I think everyone has seen an electric cable. Like if you cut it, you will find that outside is a plastic thing, no? And then when you cut the cable, you find inside you have lots of wires, copper wires. So similarly, there are many neurons which are covered by an insulated sheet. Exactly like an electrical cable, okay? So, there are lots of neurons and then there are bundles of neurons and it is covered by an insulated sheath. This is known as a nerve. So, nerve is a bundle of neurons which is covered by an insulated sheath. Now, nerves may be of different types. Based on the function, nerves are divided into three types. So, based on their function, Nerves are of three types. The first one is sensory nerve. Now these nerves carry impulse from the organ to the brain. So sensory nerves carry impulse <coughs> from the organ to the brain. Then we have the motor nerve. Motor nerve carry impulse from the brain to the organ. Just the opposite. So sensory carry impulse from the organ to the brain. Whereas motor nerve carry impulse from the brain to the organ. Then finally we have the mixed nerve. Now mixed nerve consists of both sensory and motor neurons. So, they function both as sensory and motor nerves. Okay, so, sensory nerve, motor nerve and mixed nerve. This is based on their function. Then we have two types of nerves based on their origin. One is the spinal nerve. And then we have the peripheral nerve. The spinal nerve and the, sorry, the cranial nerves. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Cranial nerve. The spinal nerve and the cranial nerve. Spinal nerves are nerves which originate below your neck. Okay? And cranial nerves are the nerves which arise from your brain or which arise above your neck. Spinal nerve below your neck, cranial nerves above your neck. So I hope you have understood what was done today. Thank you. Keep watching my videos. Do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.